No doubt, one of the most talented and promising players on the pro scene is Manasi. Even when he was just 14 and not playing for any pro team, people predicted a bright future for him and often compared him to Simple, saying that in time he would replace him. His career kicked off when he got signed by Navi Youth and shortly after he got an invite to the FPL, where he showed top-notch skills and held his own among other pros. Now he's playing for G2 alongside Nico. In this video, we're gonna dive into the showcase Manasi setting to get the loan down on his setup tricks and desert each setting to ensure we don't miss anything crucial. Stick around till the end of the video to catch up all his tips. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like on this video and drop a comment about which pro player you want the next video to be about. First up, let's check out his gear and their settings. He's rocking a Logitech G Pro Super Light 2 mouse. The main upgrade from the previous model is that you can set it to the 2000Hz refresh rate, which reduces input lag and Monacy was among the first to play with the refresh rate. As for sensitivity, he's got a 400 dpi on the mouse and in game it's set to 2 with a zoom sensitivity of 1. His headphones are the Logitech G Pro X2, offering awesome sound quality and comfort. Here are his in-game sound settings. EQ Profile Natural this preset doesn't alter sounds, they come through unprocessed. Left and right isolation 0%. This gives a strong sense of left versus right. Perspective correction, yes. Sounds at the edge of your field of view will be strongly panned to either left or right. Manasi uses a pretty standard resolution of 1280 to 960. He's got a Zoe XL 2566K monitor, typical among pro players which can go up to 360Hz, but he sticks to 240 to avoid feeling a difference between playing at home and the tournaments. Brightness is set standard at 85%. Boost player contrast is off, as it drops a few FPS and distant enemies, especially in darker map areas, can look more like a black blob than a player model. Vertical sync is off, since it locks your FPS to your monitor's refresh rate. For example, if it's on and your monitor is 60Hz, you won't get more than 60FPS. Multi-sampling and tealizing mode ADX MACA. This makes this image easier on the eyes and smoother, so the game doesn't feel harsh. Global shadow quality – high. This setting is a game changer, as shadows now react to any light source, letting you spot opponents earlier. Model and texture detail – low, affects only texture quality, which doesn't give any advantage but improves the visual aspect. Texture filtering mode – bilinear, similar to the previous setting, it affects texture quality. Shadow detail – low, in simple terms, it enhances the quality of effects, like the burning of a Molotov cocktail. Particle detail – low. Since it doesn't offer any visual advantage, we set it low to save FPS. Ambient occlusion – high. Basically, this shadow model adds realism by calculating light intensity. High dynamic range – performance – controls the brightness range between the brightest and the darkest pixels. Fidelity FX super resolution – disabled – highest quality. Nvidia reflex low latency – disabled. Reduces system delay, boosting PC response time. The boost mode uses methods that might draw more power to the GPU and slightly affect FPS to minimize latency. For better game optimization, you also need to tweak the NVIDIA control panel, which is all about the video card settings. First off, set your monitor's refresh rate to 240Hz. Then, in an adjust desktop color and settings, make sure digital vibrance is at 50%. In the Adjust Image settings with the Preview tab, select Performance and in Manage 3D settings, he's got these. Power Management Mode – Prefer Maximum Performance Texture Filtering Quality – High Performance Alright, let's move on to his crosshair settings. They change often, he explains because in CS2 it's hard for him to find the right one, so he tries different ones to find the best. Here's his current setup. Crosshair color, 1. 
style for size 1.5 thickness 0 gap minus 3 and dot 1 here's how it looks in the game I'll leave the code for his crosshair in the video description. His view model settings are the usual, as we are all accustomed to. I went into more detail about this one in my previous videos where I talked about the ROP settings, so if you're curious why props use this particular view model, check out the video via the hint in the top right corner. But I'll remind you anyway. View model field of view 68. View model offset x 2.5. View model offset y. 0. View model offset Z minus 1.5 and view model preset pose 3. And the last thing we need from his settings is his radar setup. Radar centers the player, yes. Radar is rotating, yes. Radar hut size 0 0.9 and radar map zoom 0 0.4. Toggle shape with scoreboard, yes. So those are Monis's settings. In summary, he does everything to maximize game smoothness and turns off any features that could hinder gameplay. Remember, copying his settings will make you play like him. You need to adjust the game to suit you. This video is just to help you find some useful settings and general trends. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to the channel for more cool videos. See you soon, bye bye!